check this out beautiful hawk king from being good let's get in the air it's another day after the maiden crash let's hope for the best this time a couple of mods we'll have another go We're all over the place. Still uncontrollable. I better land it. Try and land it. Oh. Have another go. to do what it wants to do. What's this? All over the place. Flying terrible. Lots of trimming. It is a bit windy. Not the perfect day for a maiden. But we're going to try, don't we? It's flying. It is flying. Don't know if those bullwinkle joints are uh, helping the situation. But it's flying. With lots of nose weight. About 110 grams of nose weight. That's a lot. That's flying. Oh, it does what it wants. Yeah, it's a bit hard to. We need to adjust the clevises, I think, because we're out of travel with our trimming. We'll come in for a landing. We'll do some adjustments. I gotta remember to keep the speed up. Oh, nice landing. We'll have another go after we've done a couple of adjustments. Look at these bullwinger joints move. Hope for the best. Oh, we've got plenty of power. Oh, I'm a bit more in the oh, Wants to tip over then. Just about to say I'm in more control now. Well, we're flying. Uh, a little bit of trimming. What's it doing there? Something funny? Funny then, see it waggle. I can see the scarf flapping. Four minutes. Did you trim it? You want to get this flying nice, even if it is windy. Low and sexy. Can you see the pilot? Watch out for the pole. Around the pole. <laughs> he looks good. It's a nice looking plane. 
We want to get it flying nice. Well, it wants to do something funny now and again. Not sure if it's the wind or those linkages. Three minutes. Oh, the wind's got it. We do get a lot of turbulent wind here. A lot of nose weight, 110 grams, strapped underneath it, a lot of weight for a little plane, but it is a scout. Captain Mupp has tried to build the scout in the past out of that foam board, and let me tell you, it never flew. He tried, it never flew. Never flew as good as this. Did the Captain Muppet? Look at this beautiful bird. Two minutes. We're guessing about six minutes of flight time out of this battery, the 1300 three cell. Well, it's flying pretty good in this wind, I guess. Had to come back on a calm day. Let's see if we can do some stunts. Dropping like a stone. Turn around and go into the wind. Oh, that was slow. Look at that, not too bad. I like the yellow in the sky. One minute. We'll go up. Not too bad, a little bit wobbly. Let's come back on a calm day. See if we can improve it. Not a bad plane. Good enough. We'll try and come in for a nice landing. 30 seconds. Oh, pretty good. Not too bad. Back from the field. After flying this beautiful chicken hawk. We got her flying. We're so happy. We do like the look of it. So first I'll tell you about the bait and crash. I was guessing it was too tail heavy, as it was. Didn't do much damage. Try and show you underneath there. It did crinkle that tail a little bit. Bend it a little bit. What I've done, I've stuck a skewer right up the guts of it still about there and that's really strong now really strong held up pretty good I'm impressed didn't do too much damage I was a bit worried turn it around here for you I've reinforced the tail here because I was worried about that being loose just with some servo rods that you pick up from anywhere they were 200 mil rods that I've just cut a little bit off. And I pulled this apart because this rod here was already assembled on there and it was actually bowing the elevator. It had that much pressure on it, so I've straightened it out. So it's got, you know, no pressure on it now and probably less strain on the survey now, you know. Even though I didn't even test out the rudder in the flight, it didn't need any rudder. Definitely got a lot of weight in the rear. It's got all these rods going on and, and the servo. It's all extra weight, double rudders. So let's talk about the CG and how I got the measurement. There's no directions. So I just measured the wing and then divided by three and I got 55 millimeters. 
and it ended up that my battery it was balanced dead level at 55 millimeters so I thought I'd go with that but as you've seen it was terrible it was way out wasn't it I put lots of weight under here just temporary 110 grams all up strapped to the bottom of the wheels there but now the CG that I've got is 45 millimeters I did actually mark it at 50 I was going to go with 50 but I didn't thought I, it should be pretty close but no so the CG needed to be at 45 millimeters and that could even be a little bit nose down you know that is just a little bit nose down so I was at least 10 millimeters wrong I was in the main flight as you've seen in the video a couple of adjustments in between the flights and we got it flying good didn't take too long it's a beautiful bird we're very happy with it and the battery weight to energy pack here is 141 grams so it is a heavy pack and it fits in there beautiful I'll do some soldering now get rid of that connector and I'll solder on the XD60 properly this is the plug and play version come with the motor and there you see that of course the servo is already pre-installed had plenty of power nice Emax motor it was definitely powerful enough for this type of plane I was happy with it it'll be interesting to see how long these linkages last for in the surveys you know after a few flights um, there may not be any issues but we'll wait and see the wheels are definitely big enough that was fine I was shocked it was fine on the grass a little bit longer grass may need a bigger wheel I didn't hear the prop tip hit the grass a couple of times in takeoff so a little bit bigger wheel would be better and the pilot was very happy very happy this time he doesn't like crashing the beautiful chicken hawk will fly again thanks for watching